All right, what's up? This is a bit of a review video on this DKL skate grip. So DKL skate grip is basically an alternative to regular skateboarding grip tape. Basically, this is a rubber grip tape and as opposed to a regular grip tape where it's basically sandpaper, 60 grit sandpaper that messes up your shoes, messes up your thumb after grabbing it all day. Uh, this grip tape is meant to be a solution to that. So basically, it doesn't mess up your shoes at all and uh, it works pretty well. So when I first got this grip about three weeks ago uh, and I first set it up, first thing I noticed was that it was a bit more involved um, in terms of like the setup process than regular grip tape. So with regular grip tape, you just sort of slap it on there and you take your razor blade, you cut around it and it's done. With this grip tape, it's sort of the same thing. You slap it on there, you take your razor blade, you cut it all the way around, um, but then you gotta do some work with a file just to get it all rounded off on the edges um, so that it won't peel up, uh, which I did experience problems with, uh, and I'll get into that later. But So the setup takes a little bit longer than regular grip tape, but uh, it wasn't too bad. So for the first session that I had with this grip, um, it was it just got done raining, so I had to deal with that. Um, but I did land the first kickflip that I tried with this grip, and uh, I was surprised because it actually gripped pretty well. It was flicking just the same as regular grip, and uh, I was able to land all these kickflips, heel flips, shove its, three shove its. Uh, I think I even got a couple of tray flips in there. But um, as soon as water got on this grip, it was as slippery as a board with no grip on it. Um, just because it's rubber and it's not sandpaper. So the, the, the water was a problem, but um, the next time I went out for another session uh, and it wasn't raining, that wasn't a problem anymore. And um, yeah, so one thing that I, I did experience issues with was uh, when the board would do a kickflip and I would land halfway with the board facing down. Uh, the nose and tail would get sort of messed up, or primarily the nose would get messed up. It would uh, sort of start to peel back pretty bad. Um, and that was a little bit of a bummer when it happened, but I was able to repair it. So I just took some super glue and I put it under where it peeled up and uh, I held it down until the super glue dried. And then it was pretty much aces after that. Um, so that was that problem pretty much solved. Uh, also, this grip sort of, well, it did tear a little bit. So you can see right, right there, there's a bit of a tear in the, in the grip. And that's just from coming down a, a gap and having it hit on some concrete and um, I'm sure the same thing would have happened with regular grip, but that's just something that I've decided to put in this video. Um, so most tricks are pretty much the same on this board as regular grip tape. It feels pretty much identical. Anything where you're doing just regular ollies, like uh, 180s, back 180s, um, kick flips, heel flips, are all pretty much the same as regular grip and work really well. Um, the problems started coming up when I tried to do front shove its. Um, so I, I'm pretty sure the reason that front shove its weren't working as well with this grip tape as it, they were with regular grip tape was because when you stand on the, the grip uh, just regularly, like if you're stationary, um, this grip tape doesn't have the same bite as regular grip does. So what would happen is if I was gonna to try to do a big front shove it down a gap, I would do it and try to catch it and stop the board from spinning, but my feet would be on the board in the midair and it wouldn't stop spinning. And so I was never able to land a huge front shove it down this gap that I was trying. But um, I was able to ollie it fine um, and kick flips aren't any different than regular grip. Um, just very slight differences uh, in feeling when you're when you're on the board. So I think overall this grip, I'd give it about a seven out of ten, and I, I'd rate regular grip tape the exact same, 
just for its own downfalls. Um, but I would see the script tape as a viable option and a viable uh, alternative to regular grip because it really does not mess up your shoes at all. And it's not that much more expensive. I think shipped, this grip tape cost me about $11.95. So not bad. And uh, I'll show you the shoes that I skated with this. So here's the shoe. It's the Adidas Samba. And regularly this shoe would not be skatable at all with regular grip. It would just cut through the leather within a day. And you can see I've been skating this quite a bit and there's almost no wear on there. There is a little bit of wear from when I tried to do a trick with the regular grip tape, but everything else is completely fine and um, just flawless. So that's pretty much the review. Go check out some of my other videos if you haven't. And thanks for watching.